van paard, maar pas bij de bed lachen. De weer weer go. Hij is voor de eerste keer in de ring. En dan de kiezen die zijn van die staan. Ik heb het jaar in stokje bij de rest in de klep in de ring. Daar in de verkeerde paard in de display. Nee, we doen een de stand. De niet paard. Niet. Het ging kans om de laten. Brak het als neper. Dat je de laten neemt van de twee door de stand. Nee. Assuming that you use the same equipment to put the dung on, plow the field, work it down and draw up the drills. Now, instead of planting, you sowed some it because it was a very, very small seed. And it was sowed with a machine like this. And this was actually a Matthew Ferguson precision seed drill, which was uh, a very rare machine, not too many of them about. But the idea was the two conical rollers would sit on top of the drills, they consolidate them, the small seed Put in the sheep boxes here, and then there was a meter in here, driven by this land wheel. They metered out the sheep into even spacing, they went down, and they were pressed in the ground with a wheel at the back. So you could sow the crop to a stand. You could sow the crop in six inches, eight inches, whatever you want. Once you got them in the ground, and it was time to thin them, you would thin them with this machine, the scarifier. Arthur Sutty here with his 35X and a ballast scarifier. You sit down on the drill, you go to the front of the guide along the side of the drill, and the disc to the back to clear the soil away, so you're left with a narrow strip of sunlit plants ready to be thinned by the hand. And again, we have another scarifier here, it's another ballast of leaf, something that was eventually bought over by Jellison Henderson, hence this one turned out and gave it brown red. Now, another method of doing the same job is the spherical. Going go fill in here has a steer so thanks to Dave Bellic and Craig. We've got this example of Nicholson of New York. Now we needed a guy to sit in the seat and steer it. And it would go up the road and the guy in the back would watch very closely. He would work the tiller and he would steer it as tight to the road the plant would be good. And this would take out all an added green feeder unit at the back as well. Now, if the summit was stolen by the very early drills, they came out like hedges. So you needed to get them gapped a bit until you could thin them behind. And this is a bento gaffer, and it's from Morris Blacklog. And you can see as the machine goes along, tears away the air from the side of the drill. And this little paddle at the back just flicks it out, and you just got left with pop every few inches. So there's less work to do with a handful. Okay. Button cut. This is a way of feeding the summit. Similar to what we were doing earlier on with the crop mill. They um, filled the hopper up with some it, and you could go up the field. The fact that power drive could operate it, and you would have uh, cut some it, fall it into the back, the uh, hopper at the back, and you could shuffle them out and fill the top. And we have several versions, one on the 135 from Air Elder, one from Jimmy Mayer on the back of the day of 950. The first one I think was a Dr. Kenji one from 1820, and this is an Elder's of Berwick machine. Similar machines did a similar job. And then, you wanted to cut the summit too. You needed a full summit harvest. And of course, as we see that really revolutionized summit harvest thing, eventually, we started off with a machine that would stop and scale the summit, so you still have to pick them up behind. And then this machine to put an elevator on the side, and a toilet rope alongside it, and you can pick it up. Out of the drill and straight into a trailer like Jimmy Mayer here with a field marshal and a nice screw tip trailer and this would drive alongside the sun and have the sun and it would drive up the roads and they would load the hand and the sun that would be taken back and stored in the neat shed with this machine. So, we've got to see from the planting and the sowing of the crop right to the harvest of the crop. And the, the apple pie starts to nip and round the right as well for So it's having got your tickets for that, it's got this agriculture, and we must thank the friends of the water for coming up and picking up what they're speaking the kit, and we must thank the bells especially for all their speaking the kit, and all the other exhibitors and club members to um, answer the call when you phone them up, and they'll say, no bother, I'll bring it along, so thanks to you all for making this special effort. Thanks to the guys for putting up the sheep net as well, getting us whistling up a bit, but all the drivers have managed to squeeze themselves in and make room. So, great display of something of the scenery.